Hey guys, my name is DSDS LA for the Truth to Freedom channel. If you are new to the channel, I just want to say you welcome to the channel. We are grateful to our guest minister. We thank you for being present. If there's any other ministers out there, you're welcome to come on up here in the dugout because it's going to get hot up here. Yeah, man, you're more than welcome. Make yourself at home. I believe that God only have one church. God don't have churches. Get me. God only have one church. And that's what I want to talk about tonight. Let us see, are we in God's church? I didn't ask you, do you go to church? That's your problem. You've been going to church so long. Church is a contributing factor to deception. Do you know many people that go to church are very sincere, really want to be saved? But even the sinner know 99.9% .9 of the junk going on in church, he know that trash shouldn't be in there. And the sinner lost respect for what is called church. What is called church now, that's not God's church. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Get your Bibles ready. Call your pastor. That's right. And his second wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. Call your pastor and his boyfriend. That's right. Am I right? Amen. You know, these men get tired of the women. They go pick up the men. You got bishop. You know, preachers got first lady. We don't believe in that foolishness. My wife is not the first lady. The first lady is dead. Her name is Eve. But today, the preachers, some of them dropped first lady and got the first man. That's right. What do you mean the first man? I mean the preacher got his boyfriend, which is his so-called husband, the first man. That's right. Now, this is how church has failed. Church supposed to preach us out of sin. But church have become, they accommodate us in sin. That's right. They are afraid to offend anybody. Yeah. And the reason why they are afraid to offend you because they're afraid you won't give money. Yeah. The purpose of church, let us go back to the original purpose. That's right. Are you in the church that Jesus started? All right, William, let's go to work. Follow me in your Bible. Beware. Let's any man Beware spoil you any man spoil through you. philosophy, through philosophy and vain deceit. What else? After the tr after after the, the tradition, after the tradition of men, of men, after the rudiments of the after world, the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. All right, let's look at men's tradition. Men's tradition, right? You got to try the spirit. Yeah. And the apostle preached, we having the same spirit. The spirit, that's it. Of faith. <laughs> you know, when you got the same spirit of faith. That means you got to believe what Jesus believed. That's right. You got to believe what Jesus believed. That's right. If you come along and say, Pastor Jenner, we don't believe in washing feet. Really? Really? Hmm. You don't believe in washing feet? Really? Really? You don't? Really? But no, Pastor Jenner, Jesus ain't never said we got to do it. In he said you ought to do it. That's right. And then he told you why you should do it. In the book of St. John, chapter 13, and that verse 13. What am I doing? I'm going to itemize different subjects. To see are you in the same church That's right. that Jesus started. That's right. Listen at this. Now let's get feet washed. St. John chapter 13 and at verse 13. Follow me. Ye call me master and lord. Ye call me master and lord. And ye say well for, well, so, I for am. so I am. If I then your lord and master have washed if your I feet. I be your lord and master and I wash your feet. Ye also ought to wash one another's feet. No you ain't got to do it. Ye also ought to wash one another's nah, feet. You ain't, Bishop said you ain't got to do it. Ye also ought to wash one another's Bishop feet. Bishop Lucifer said you don't have to do it. Ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Why? For I have given you an example. For what reason? That ye should do as I have done to you. Ye ought to wash what? Ye ought to wash one another's feet. Not each other. That's right. One another's. I got to pick up everything. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 13, and we started at verse 13. Now wash each other's feet. One another's feet. One another. Let me show you the difference. Amen. Washing one another. I wash Williams. Williams wash that brother. That brother wash him. That brother wash him. That brother wash him. That's one another. One another. 
But if you wash each other, I'll wash Williams, and Williams turn around and wash me. That's right. That's Bible right. didn't say that. You also ought to wash one another's feet. One another. One another. One not another. each other. That's right. That's right. Let's see are you in the church. Mm -hmm. Let's see are you in the church that Jesus started. Let's investigate how you take communion mm -hmm. and what time of day you take it. That's right. Well, Pastor Jenner, we serve communion in, in the morning. That's not the Lord's church. No. He said the Lord's supper, not the Lord's breakfast. That's right. That's right. You mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, the Bible tells me what time of day? In, yes. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I want to see all you in the church started from the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to strike this out strike with Bible out. here. That's right. And everybody better investigate. And I'm challenging Little Rock, Arkansas. That's I'm right. challenging not just Little Rock, but the whole, the whole state. <laughs> That's right. The whole state of Arkansas. I'm challenging everybody's religion, everybody's church, and everybody's pastor. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. I have to do this because I was made a preacher, you know. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God made me a preacher. Oh, yes. And I have to say, like Paul, if an angel come from heaven and bring another gospel that differ from what we preach, let the angels be a curse. If there's one church, then there's one teaching to govern that one church. That's and right. And any teaching come in the church that contradict the Bible, then we're going to blast that teaching back to hell. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and that verse 23. That goes forth, I got any preachers out there that didn't come up. Amen. Oh, yeah. That goes for you. That's right. What we preach it hurts you. All right. You better not protect what you have. That's right. You either in God's church. There's two churches. Yeah. God's and the devil's. And the devil's. All right. Let's see. Do you serve the Lord's Supper on Bible order? Before we get the time of day, let's see. Do we use a tray of glasses or one cup? One cup. Don't go tell me. Don't. Well, Pastor Jennings is germs today. There was germs back then. That's right. Follow me in your Bible, heathen. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse Come 26. Come on, Bishop. Come on, so-called elder. Come on, pastor. Wait a minute. Before we get the cup, let's get what's in the cup. Because they use grape juice. That's right. They use grape juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, they won't use wine. They use grape juice. That's right. And I got, I, I'm going to strip it down to the letter. That's right. Let's get what's in the cup. Then let's get how many cups to use. Yes. Then we we'll get the time of day That's that right. it should be done. That's right. We're going to use Bible for all for of it. For all of it. All right. Follow me. Get me, Arkansas. First in the book of Psalms 75 and at verse 8. Follow me. Psalm 75 and at the 8th verse. What is it? For in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. Please tell us what's in it. And the wine is red. Nope, the grape juice. The wine is red. Amen. Why are you serving grape juice? That's right. <laughs> Why are you serving tang, tang, lemonade? That's right. Orange juice. Orange juice. They piss them in the side out, came blood and water, yeah. and the blood represent the wine. That's right. Don't you hear the Bible says in the book, Amen of Isaiah, who is that? That coming from Edom with a dot coming from bullseye. That's right. He that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak of the righteous, this mighty to save. Mighty to save. He said he tried, he tried the, the wine press alone. Alone. That's right. He tried in the wine press alone. 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 Book of Isaiah, quickly now. Amen. Chapter 63, if I'm correct. Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 1. verse 1. Who is, who is this that cometh who from Edom? It? That's coming from with Edom. With dyed garments from Bozah. Garment from Bozah. This that is glorious in his apparel. He's doing what? Traveling in the greatness of his strength. What did he say? I that speak in I righteousness, that speak in mighty, the righteousness to save. He's mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Red in apparel. And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. And what? I have tried the wine I press have alone. Tried the wine press alone. And of the and people of there the was people, none with me. There was none with For me. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. And what? And their blood, and shall, their be blood shall be sprinkled. Shall be sprinkled. Shall be sprinkled upon my garment. He ain't come along and use grape juice. No. Why do you use it? That's right. That's right. Get a bottle of Welch's grape juice. Amen. Leave the label on the bottle. Welch's. <laughs> That's right. Bible said a cup was in the Lord's For hand. For in the hand of the Lord. This is Bible here. In Psalm 75 and verse 8. Let's see all you, the church, started by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's We're right. going to do an investigation. That's right. And make sure you're not a criminal. 
Amen. Trying to bring something in the church that contradict the book of law. <laughs> That's right. The Bible said let's all walk by the same rule. That's right. It didn't say walk by Pastor Jennings. Walk, walk by the same rule. That's it. All right. Let's see whether we're going to have a cup or tray of glasses. We got what's supposed to be in there. Right. All right, follow me and get there. Now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we'll start at verse 23. Right, it. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto no, you. No, I received it from Pastor Jennings. I have received of the Lord. So you can't blame me with it. That's right. Get mad now. Get mad with the Lord. <laughs> That's right. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Are you in the church? That Jesus started. Jesus started. And we're doing an investigation on the teachings in the church. That's right. Listen. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Oh, For I have received of the Lord. I got from God. That which also I delivered unto you. Hey. That oh, 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 wait a minute. Mm -hmm. What you preaching in your church? Did you receive it from God? From the Lord. Listen, viewers and you that are here. It doesn't matter if a preacher come and say, the Lord told me this and the Lord told me that. Just be quiet and listen. That's right. What come out of his mouth? And whatever come out of his mouth that he said the Lord says, and it contradict the Bible, That's the right. Lord of heaven didn't say it. That's right. I don't care if he jumped around on one foot and got a robe so long until it filled the temple. That's right. That's if right. he come anything that contradict the word of the Lord. Word of the Lord. The Lord ain't said that. Not no. at all. No, no. Listen. For I have received of the Lord. What? That which also I delivered unto you. What is it? That the Lord Jesus the same night. No, nope, the same morning. That the Lord Jesus the same night. The same afternoon. The same night. What did he do the same night? In which he was betrayed, took bread. He took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And when he, he gave it. thanks, he broke it. And said, take, eat. Take, this is eat. my body. This is my body. Which is broken for you. What else did he do with? This do in remembrance of me. Yeah. After the same manner also we took the cup. What time of day was it? Same night. What time of day was it? That the Lord Jesus the same night. All right, you Sunday morning communion takers. That's right. That's right. You Sunday morning communion takers. Amen. You mean to tell me you are preacher leading people? Amen. And you don't know the time of day that Jesus was betrayed? That the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took Someone say, well, that's not important. The Bible said whatsoever things are written for time is written for our learning. learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have what? Hope. Don't let no liar come to you That's and right. say, well, if that, that time is not important. If, if it's in here, <laughs> have you ever took your car to a mechanic? Amen. And then when you get your car back, he give you a Ziploc bag with a bunch of screws. And then he tell you, you didn't need these. How you going to listen? <laughs> That's right. If those screws came with my car, those screws going to leave on my car. That's right. I'm saying that to say this. When these men come along and tell you that we don't got to do that, and yet it's in here. It's in here. Come on back. That's right. Don't you know if you don't take the Lord's Supper right, you can die? You can die. Do you know some sicknesses people have is because they took the Lord's Supper wrong? That's right. I'm going to give you a Bible for that too. 1 Corinthians 11, still at verse 23. Listen. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. And what? That the Lord Jesus the same, same night, night in which he was betrayed took bread. What did he do? And when he had given thanks, he break it and he said. break it. And said, take, eat, this is my body. This is my body. Which is broken for you. Wait a minute. He broke the bread? This is my body which is broken for All you. All right. If the preacher said the Lord's Supper and don't break the bread. That's right. You still ain't doing it right. That's right. Look at here. You got to have it at night. Have it at night. And you got to take the bread after you bless it. You got to break it. Break it. And if you don't break it and give it whole, you're not acknowledging the suffering of Jesus. That's right. That's right. You got to follow it to the letter. That's right. Or shut the church down. After the same manner also, we took the cup. He took the tray of glasses. He took the cup. <laughs> Amen. I want to say, well, Pastor Jennings, I take one bottle of wine and pour it in all the cups. That's the same thing. You lie. The That's purpose of them having one cup, the cup, rep listen, you have wine and bread. That's right. Cup and bread represent two different stages of his one body. That's right. The bread represent the suffering of the body. That's why the bread was broken. Broken. The wine represent the death of his body because he didn't shed blood after, after. he died. That's right. 
A cup is a container. His body was a container. They pissed him in the side. Out came blood and water. And water. Amen. There wasn't a bunch of bodies died for you. No. One. That's right. That's right. One death. That's right. One death, one cup. Amen. Amen. So you take your trap glasses and give it back to the bar you own. <laughs> All them shot liquor glasses. <laughs> Come right. on back to the Bible. That's Just right. Do it right do it and right. stop playing church. Amen. After, after the Bible said, after this. After the same manner also, we took he the took cup, cup when he had supped. When he had supped. Saying this cup. This. Amen. Hey, preacher. Preacher, tell me. Hmm. When you pray over the cup or the tray of glasses, is that the communion of the Lord? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and I'm verse 21. I'm going the same question the Apostle Paul asks. That's right. This, this question folks don't even know it's in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, we're at verse 16. You preacher that got a tray of glasses, you praying over it. I'm asking you a question now. That's right. Is it the communion of the Lord? The cup of blessing. Give chapter and verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 16. The what? The cup of blessing. Spell ble cup. C-U-P. No, the C-U-P-S. No, Pastor, C-U-P. C-U-P-S. C-U-P. What is the question about the C-U-P? The cup of blessing which we bless. Which we pray over. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? Now you tell me. Amen. Is the cup which we bless the communion of the blood of Christ? Mm. Or is it the tray of glasses that you bless? <laughs> That's right. Are you in the church? Go ahead, brother. Started by the Lord Jesus Christ. The <laughs> cup of blessing which we bless. The cup of blessings that we pray over. Is it, is it not the communion, not the of, communion the of, of the blood of Christ? Or is it the tray of glasses that you bless? That's tell right. me. That's right. That's right. Are you in the church? Amen. That Jesus started. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 21. Listen. Ye cannot drink the cup. Ye cannot drink the cup. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. And the cup of devils. <laughs> Amen. Which one is yours? That's it. Can't have the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partaken. The tray of glasses that's is right. the cup of devils. Of devils. That's right. All of you that serve glasses, you got the cup of devils. Of devils. Devils. That's right. Devils. That's right. Devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord. Oh, glory to God, the Bible's so plain. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Stop this church playing and this religious faking and come back to the Bible. Amen. Jesus is coming here. Yes, he is. That's right. Jesus is coming. coming. That's right. And the lying bishop been saying for years, he coming looking for a church. That's a lie. That's a lie. When you look for something, you lost it. <laughs> That's right. He ain't never said he coming looking for nothing. No. He said he going to present to himself a glorious church. Yes. And then told you how it got to be. Not having a spot. spot. You got a tray of glasses, you got a whole lot of spots. That's right. You serve the Lord's Supper in the morning, and not at night, that's another spot. That's right. You got anything in that glass other than wine, another spot. Amen. Amen. Are you in the church? That's right. Start it. From the Lord from Jesus the Lord. Christ. That's right. We're doing a Holy Ghost investigation. That's right. If you love, agree, or disagree with this video, please do leave a comment behind. Do like the video, share the video with friends and family, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you do not have to miss out on all our future videos. God bless you.